Action. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you guys how we, or I, I guess, <laughs> made this bed frame. I forget what you were working on the day um, that I made this. But I basically just took, like, I guess they're technically supposed to be two by twos, but they're more like one and a half by one and a half. Um, and I just cut them to the length of this mattress that we got. Um, it's a cradle mattress and it's about 18 inches by 36 inches. It's not very thick, it's a thin mattress, um, but it'll have a sheet and everything and be cozy once we make it more bed-like. Um, so I attached it all just by drilling and making it into a square shape, sanded it, and then finished it with a polyurethane just to um, seal it and give it a coat. Maybe probably wasn't the best idea in hindsight. It doesn't actually feel very soft. Anyways, whatever. Then I drilled these holes that I'm gonna attach um, more of this macrame cord into here, which then hooks up through the carabiner and then down onto this other side over here. And I also have three on this side and this side. So it's gonna be macrame up, kind of like a plant pot hanger, and it's gonna attach to these carabiners so this is just temporary um, but the idea is that we'll be able to unclip it and like move it to the front of the bus if we want to or we can like we've talked about setting something up outside of the bus so that we can just like take it and put it outside if we have some work to do outside but we can like swing around and sleep in here um, but it's also like a swing so it'll be easy to rock the baby to sleep um, and I'm basically attaching these macrame cords to this top portion and I'm going to do a design and then it's going to attach to this bottom portion which will help keep everything together because right now it's just suspended by these cords here and then underneath there'll be a piece of plywood going across that this will sit on but I'm going to attach that all once I finish the macrame and that's it so I'm going to macrame in this video I don't know what you're poking at. My nose. Just scratch it for you. What? <laughs>
of finished working um, on the baby's bassinet. Justin is cutting yet another hole into all of us. So, let's check it out. Easy. Wow, that's a big hole. So close. Oh my word. Crikey. Crikey almighty. Nice, babe. How do you feel about cutting holes in Orbos? Hate it. <laughs> Make sure we gotta get that covered before the rain comes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, I feel rain. This is called bus guts. Bus guts. Get those bus guts. Doing bus surgery. But we're gonna drill a hole here and then check it on the inside, and make sure it's where we want it to be. Although we need to get those grooves off, otherwise that thing's not gonna fit, huh? And this here on the inside is just the plywood that's the back of our uh, kitchen cabinet. So we'll be able to see it on the inside. And this is, I don't even remember if I said, let me show you. So Justin is currently hammering all those short grooves and stuff that we have to get off so he can get that drill through. Um, and what we're working on is getting a hole in here so that we can use this stuff. Um, and vent out our propane water heater that's installed underneath our sink. So the vent will come up here and go across and then it'll have to go down a little bit to position where we want it to position um, to vent out on the outside. So yeah, I don't know if we ever showed you guys the other, the tank that we got. So this one is a Fastor Mountain Net brand. It has different settings for low flame, high flame, flame uh, winter and a summer setting. And then on this side is the temperature. And then it has an electric, um, an electric LED here that shows you what temperature you're at. So this one will be good to have inside. So we were kind of way off. A hole came through pretty much right there. We needed it to be more like right there. But he's going for it, he said. And so alas, here we go. Say hello. Kills air, moisture, and pests. Very nice. We also have this that we have to finish. It looks better than it did before with the hose hanging out. So we wanted to do an outro for this video because it kind of would have ended really abruptly otherwise. Our old so. endings to YouTube videos are so <laughs> bad. It's just like, oh yeah, all right, we're done. Yeah, so we're trying to be better, or at least I'm trying to be better about getting us to sit down and talk with you guys, as well as like just end it in a nicer way. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to finish the macrame bassinet, but I'm going to be working on it, and I'll just keep filming. Thanks, Gabe. Mm -hmm. um, I'll keep filming more on that, so you guys can see the progress there. And then we finished the propane water heater venting. So that's good to go. Yeah, that's really, that's a huge relief. I'm gonna need to double check it and make sure that it is fully airtight and just really double check that because I don't want any gas leaking into the bus, obviously. Um, but that's huge and that's kind of was the step that we were waiting to get done before we install the propane tank. 
And so pretty soon here, we will be able to put a propane tank underneath the bus and run two lines to the water heater and one to the water heater and one to the stove and so we can stop using those green canisters yeah the like mini buy. ones yeah, that like are the disposable ones, the one pound ones those i mean they're nice for now to get us by but they're just like you have to keep buying them yeah. run out it's just we it's, haven't been using our oven because we've been trying to preserve propane and then we've also like been mid cooking and like the propane's run out. I literally so. put like three eggs in the <laughs> skillet and we ran out of gas. It was and ridiculous. we didn't have like a backup one. So <laughs> you put them back in the fridge and you use them another day. Shh, don't tell them that. Why? <laughs> you don't want to waste eggs. It sounds gross. It's not gross. They were still raw. That being said, we're going to get the propane tank installed <laughs> soon. Take two. Here, let me hold the hat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This badass gift. Um, <laughs> I have to do that every time now. Um, so we just wanted to say thank you. This is from White Dove Schoolie. Um, she reached out and wanted to send us a baby present. So we're really excited. This is absolutely amazing. So big thank you. Yeah. And um, I can't wait for uh, Little Nugget to, uh, to rock this. And I guess just to add on to that too, one thing I wanted to say, I don't talk a lot. Normally I'm camera shy and just don't want to be bothered while I'm working, but <laughs> Juby has been kicking butt on her video editing skills. Um, our videos have gotten so, so much better. Um, and she's really been kicking ass and put a lot of time and energy into that. And seeing our subscribers grow, although they're still small, it's like just over 500, which we just broke 500. Give me some. I know. YouTube sent us a like special congratulatory email. Yeah. yeah. But that being <laughs> said, um, it's exciting to see more and more people watching the videos, becoming interested, but more importantly, reading the comments and seeing the positivity and the support. It, you, I guess there's just, it's hard to put into words the meaning of that like that means a lot and it really gives us a lot of fire to keep doing what we're doing so for that we thank you and that segues into your new project yeah so it just made us a patreon page so if you wanted to continue supporting us in a slightly different way um, you're welcome to go there I'll link it in the description below um, there's four different levels of contributions that you can put towards us um, for right now, that money would go towards the finishing of the renovation of the bus, um, as well as hopefully come next year, early next year, sometime maybe winter, early spring, once the baby is here and we've kind of settled in a little bit and hopefully finished working on the bus. <laughs> um, we're hoping to travel for a good few months full time on the road, so that money would help us stay on the road as well as... I don't know. Keep producing videos. Keep producing videos because it does take time and mm -hmm. yeah. Nice plug. So that's basically the takeaway. We started a Patreon. If you feel so called to do so, jump on there, check it out. Um, Juby's put it together really well with different stages um, that you can support us at. And um, that aside, um, keep up to date with the next video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also. I'm 32 weeks pregnant now, so... 33 Saturday. Yeah, 33 weeks on Saturday. Um, so, yeah, if the videos start, like, maybe slowing down by, like, me putting them out and being productive and all that kind of stuff, then you know why. Um, it's cool, little nuggets on the way. Yeah, and obviously, I don't know, when the baby's here, things might be different too, but I'll do my best to still keep making videos and keep you guys up to date with what we're working on. Anyways, catch you next time.